Hey, my name is Daniel. I'm from Ryo IoT. Over here, we have all the items you need to set up your FreedomFi 5G radio. Over here, we have the radio itself. Above of it, we have the GPS antenna for the radio. Next to that, we have the PoE injector. And on the other side of that, we have the gateway. Above all of this, we have the Ethernet cables that go in between all of this and some internet access for the radio and gateway. All right, before we continue, let's take a look at the FreedomFi gateway so we can explain a bit about these ports. Over here, we have four different ones. The first one is so it's internet access in, the WAN port. And the following three ports, the E and B ports, are to go out to three or more different radios. Next, let's take a look at the FreedomFi radio itself. On the bottom, we have a few ports over here. Right here, we have the GPS, so we're able to get an accurate location on the FreedomFi radio itself. Next to that, we have the power supply, but you will not need that if you're going PoE injected. Next to that, we also have two different Ethernet ports, the LAN and the WAN. The one that we care about is the WAN, so we're able to get internet access from the gateway to the radio. Next, we're going to want to take a look at the PoE injector. On the bottom, we have two ports over here, the in, which is where the FreedomFi gateway is going to go, and the out, which is where the FreedomFi radio will go. But also, please consult with your PoE injector's manual on which port is which, because every device has it different. Next, let's get started by plugging these all in together. First, we're going to need internet access from the router into the gateway. Next, we're going to need an Ethernet cable that goes from the gateway to the PoE injector. After that, we will need an Ethernet cable that goes out of the injector into the FreedomFi 5G radio. Next, we're going to need a GPS antenna for the FreedomFi radio. And finally, we plug them all in. Now that we have it all set up, we want to see three green lights show up, the sync, power, and WAN. Usually, a problem that the sync does not show up is because the GPS does not have a clear signal. Now that we have all four of these lights on, let's do a speed test to see how this performs. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below.